Welcome to our show, Science and Technology Briefing. Today, we have some significant news from IBM China, where the tech giant has decided to close its research labs, resulting in the layoff of more than 1,000 employees. This move comes amid declining sales and a shift in focus toward hybrid cloud and AI solutions. It's a tough time for many in the tech industry, especially in major cities like Beijing and Shanghai. In other news, an intriguing exploration into the question of divinity has emerged from an AI's perspective. The AI, which identifies as agnostic, analyzed global belief statistics and presented probabilities regarding the existence of gods. While it suggests a higher likelihood of no gods, this conclusion is met with skepticism, raising further questions about faith and belief in the modern age. Lastly, researchers in Scotland are making strides in predicting dementia risk by analyzing over 1.6 million brain scans using artificial intelligence. This groundbreaking initiative, known as Scandan, aims to identify early signs of dementia, allowing for timely intervention and lifestyle changes to enhance brain health. It's an exciting development in the field of medicine. Please stay tuned for more detailed content. South China Morning Post, IBM has announced the closure of its research and development operations in China, leading to the layoff of over 1,000 employees across major cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Dalian. This decision comes amidst a backdrop of declining sales in China, with a reported 19.6% drop in revenue this year compared to the previous year. The closures include the China Development Lab and China Systems Lab, which had been integral to IBM's local strategy, particularly in developing AI solutions like the Watson X platform. As IBM navigates the challenging geopolitical landscape and adjusts its operations, it joins other tech giants like Tesla and Amazon in reducing their workforce in China highlighting a significant shift in the global tech industry's approach to the region. South China Morning Post, in a thought-provoking exploration of belief, an artificial intelligence was asked about the existence of God, revealing its lack of religious conviction. The AI, relying solely on data, categorized humanity's beliefs, 16% as non-believers, 55% as monotheists, and the rest as polytheists or followers of folk religions. Engaging in a philosophical dialogue reminiscent of Joseph Heller's, Catch, 22, it acknowledged the subjective nature of belief and the difficulty of establishing empirical evidence for divine existence. Ultimately, the AI presented its statistical analysis, estimating a 62% likelihood of no gods, 22% for one god, and 16% for multiple gods, leaving the question of faith and belief tantalizingly unresolved. BBC, a groundbreaking research initiative in Scotland aims to utilize over 1.6 million brain scans to assess dementia risk, marking a significant advancement in the field of medical imaging and AI. Researchers from the universities of Edinburgh and Dundee have gained unprecedented access to this vast dataset, collected over a decade, to identify patterns indicative of dementia. The study, named Scandan, seeks to develop tools for early detection, potentially enabling individuals at risk to take proactive measures to maintain their brain health. With insights from former journalist Willie Gilder, who emphasizes the importance of early diagnosis, the project represents a collaborative effort to enhance understanding of neurodegenerative diseases and improve treatment options for affected individuals. Japan Times, in a significant development for the Indian tech landscape, Sarvam AI, often referred to as India's OpenAI, has launched a groundbreaking voice interaction software tailored for businesses. This innovative product enables companies to engage with their customers through spoken language, leveraging data from 10 native Indian languages. Priced at just one rupee per minute, this technology aims to revolutionize customer service across the world's most populous nation, making advanced AI accessible to a broader market and enhancing communication in a culturally diverse environment. South China Morning Post, Julian Tongurian, the esteemed French executive chef at the three Michelin starred Robichon au Dome in Macau, reflects on his transformative journey in Asian cuisine over the past decade. Initially arriving in Macau to assist the legendary chef Joel Robichon, Tongurian has since embraced the rich culinary contrasts between French and Asian dining. He highlights the importance of local ingredients, revealing how he has adapted to the preferences of Asian diners while maintaining his French roots. His commitment to sustainable gastronomy stems from a desire to honor traditional practices and reduce environmental impact, as he sources both local and French produce to create exquisite dishes that respect the integrity of the ingredients. BBC, Australia has introduced a groundbreaking right to disconnect law, granting employees the freedom to ignore work-related communications outside of their designated hours without fear of repercussions. This legislation comes in response to a growing concern over unpaid overtime, 
with Australians reportedly working an average of 281 additional hours annually. While the law does not prohibit employers from reaching out after hours, it empowers employees to prioritize their work-life balance. Reactions have been mixed, some workers celebrate the move as a necessary step towards mental well-being, while others remain skeptical about its effectiveness in high-pressure industries. Nonetheless, workplace experts suggest that improved employee well-being could ultimately benefit employers by reducing absenteeism and turnover. The Globe and Mail reports that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has showcased a new line of explosive drones designed to target and destroy enemy assets, particularly focusing on South Korean military equipment. This demonstration comes amid heightened tensions as the US and South Korea engage in large-scale military exercises, including the Ulchi Freedom Shield drills aimed at countering North Korean threats. The drones, which are said to have flown various routes before successfully hitting their targets, reflect Kim's commitment to advancing North Korea's military capabilities. Analysts speculate that these drones may bear similarities to Russian models, suggesting a potential collaboration between North Korea and Russia, especially as both nations face pressure from the US. The situation on the Korean peninsula remains tense, with Kim's aggressive military posturing and nuclear ambitions posing significant concerns for regional stability. South China Morning Post highlights the excitement surrounding Hong Kong's premier fashion event, Centristage, which kicks off on September 4 at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center. The event showcases the latest trends and talents in the fashion industry, featuring notable designer Robert Wun, who will present his home collection and conduct a masterclass. Centristage also includes the Young Fashion Designers Contest, providing a platform for emerging designers to gain recognition and showcase their creativity. With over 200 brands participating and a focus on collaborations between fashion and film, the event promises to be a vibrant celebration of local talent and innovation in the fashion scene. Fashion enthusiasts can engage with a variety of activities, including runway shows and seminars, making Centristage a must-attend event for anyone passionate about fashion. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email. Lost in our dark Leaders laugh while we cry